Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're doing well and you've had a great week. I'm so glad that you joined us here to worship here um, this morning. And uh, I'm back in my office. I missed you last week, but here I am at my desk. And just like always, I have something fun, I hope, to share with you. So if you've ever been in my desk, in my office, you know that there are a lot of things everywhere. But there's one thing that you might not have noticed because I usually keep it tucked underneath uh, my computer screen where I can see it every day. You wanna see what it is? It's this little yellow car. Now I know some of you might be surprised that this is not a Volkswagen van or a Beetle, but in fact, this is something I think just a little, actually a little bit more cool because this car is actually a transformer. This is Bumblebee, if you haven't already said it out loud. Bumblebee is my favorite transformer because he communicates through music. And you know, I do love music. So this car turns into this guy and he is my favorite superhero. So why do I have Bumblebee on my desk? Let me tell you why. First of all, I just think he's really cool. Second of all, he's actually my nephew's favorite toy to play with when he comes to visit me at work. But here's what I think Bumblebee reminds me of, and maybe what Bumblebee can remind you of. See, when you just pick up this little yellow car, if you didn't know it was Bumblebee, if you didn't see this badge on the top or maybe even this thing on the back, you would think, oh, that's a cool little yellow plastic car. Nothing too special, nothing really great. But it's when you open it up and what is on the inside becomes visible, that's when this becomes cool. So here's our lesson for today. Did you know that when we accept Jesus as our savior and we invite him into our heart that we get changed from the inside out? The color of our eyes doesn't change. The color of our hair doesn't change. We don't become taller. We don't become shorter. We don't automatically get any superhuman superhero powers except. Jesus changes us from the inside out and he promises us that with him in our lives, we have forgiveness for our sins and the promise of eternity in heaven with him. So is that what a movie might call a superhero? Is that what a comic book might categorize as superhuman powers? Maybe not, but I happen to think it's actually way more powerful than anything a movie or a comic book could ever tell a story about. So yeah, I really dig Bumblebee. I think he's pretty cool. I like the movies. I like the cartoons. But Bumblebee for me is a reminder that sometimes what you see on the outside is more than meets the eye. So here's my challenge for you this week. If you have Jesus in your heart, do the people around you know that? Do you forgive quicker? Are you more compassionate? Do you share things more than other kids do? Are you kinder? Do you smile a little bit more? Do you tell people about Jesus? See, because if we have Jesus in our heart, but it doesn't change any of the ways that we talk or act or behave around other people, and certainly if we don't tell other people about Jesus, we don't really let this power, this gift, this awesome thing that God has given to us 
have its full potential to change the world. So my challenge this week is change the world. Tell people about the Jesus that's living in your heart and changing your life. And if they didn't already know, now they'll know. Well, friends, I hope you have a great week and an awesome day today. And I really, really love you a lot. And so does Jesus. I hope to see you soon. Bye, friends.